Good morning, Titans. Today is Thursday, March 2nd, and you're here with your host, Summer. And Abigail. Please stand for the playing of our national anthem. Good morning, everybody. Um, I wanted just to share a couple things. Again, it's been a whole week since Lent has started. And uh, next Tuesday, I'll start with the thing that's happening next week. Next Tuesday, we'll have an opportunity to go to confession. Uh, and that's just when we get to sit down with the priest, sort of all the things that we, we've done in our past that we know that was wrong, and we chose to do them anyway since the last time we went to confession. We kind of just get to get rid of all that. Um, so it's a great opportunity, especially during the season of Lent. Last time we did it was during the season of Advent. So in preparation for Christmas, we were able to do it. And now we're able to do it in preparation for Easter. Uh, and so I want to really encourage you to take advantage of that next Tuesday. Um, but there's also an opportunity for prayer uh, the, today at lunch, um, starting the second half of lunch at about 11.55. If you come on down to the chapel, uh, Landon will be leading us in a rosary, which is an awesome way just to, if we're trying to, you know, for the, our goals in Lent, we're trying to pray a little bit more, um, fast, almsgive. This is a great opportunity for prayer. Um, and it's just going there, sitting down, listening to a rosary, and maybe being with your thoughts, something that might seem a little bit scary, but is also very beautiful. Um, so those are the things I wanted to encourage you in today. But uh, as for prayer this morning, I wanted to read the gospel of the day. Uh, it talks a lot about just being open to what God wants from us, you know, and these opportunities for confession, this opportunity for prayer, saying the rosary, these are ways that we can open ourselves up to God. And when we open ourselves up to God, he doesn't give us junk. You know, he gives us beautiful, beautiful things or the, the skill set to be able to overcome the trials in our life. So if you want to join me, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. This is from the Gospel of Matthew. Gathered on the hillside with the disciples, Jesus began to teach them. Ask, and it will be given to you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open for you. For everyone who asks, receives. And everyone who searches, finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for bread, will give a stone? Or if a child asks for a fish, will give a snake. If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. For this is the law of the prophets. God, we thank you so much for this scripture passage, this very familiar, likely familiar scripture passage. We just pray that we can see it with, uh, uh, listen to it with new ears today, and you can pierce our hearts in new ways. We also just pray for an openness to an increase of prayer this Lenten season, an increase in, uh, in fasting, and an increase in almsgiving and doing unto others. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We want to give a huge shout out and recognize all of the Holy Trinity swimmers who attended the OSA Provincial Championships in Windsor on Tuesday and Wednesday this week. 
It is an incredible accomplishment to qualify and compete at this level. Our senior boys qualified for the 200 meter freestyle relay. Members of this relay team were Andrew O'Neill, Justin Boonstra, Tyler Kitchler, and Mate Marshalko. Individual qualifiers were Chelsea Haskett, Ray Vallant, Alexis Revai, Colin Anderson, and Mate Marshalko. Following their preliminary swims, both Colin and Mate also qualified for finals in both of their events. Mate finished eighth place in the, 80, in the 50 meter butterfly. Congratulations to all these provincial competitors and to the entire Holy Trinity swim team. It's been a great swim season. Congra congratulations to our chamber choir who yesterday participated in the Norfolk Arts Festival and placed in first for their division. Good job to Sadie Sauer, Faith Geertz, Coda Anderson, Adam Chambers, Jacob Noseworthy, Riley O'Brien, Julia and Michaela Bellicom, Ali Milo, and Zoe Veltice. Just a reminder, tonight's choir practice is canceled. Take a well-deserved night off. Attention grade 12 students interested in being on our 2023 prom committee. Please plan to attend our, brief, our first brief information meeting where we will be discussing our timeline and planning schedule next week, Wednesday, March 8th at lunch in room 155. Attention any students in grade 9 to 12 who are interested in agriculture. Our agriculture SHSM is planning a trip to the London Farm Show for Wednesday, March 8th. If you're interested in attending, please stop by to see Ms. Dulcer anytime before Tuesday of next week to pick up a permission form. Attention all grade 11 and 12 girls interested in trying out for the senior girls rugby team. There will be a brief meeting today in room 143. Spring sport announcement. Anyone wanting to try out for the HT Babinson team, please do so in the gym hallway this week until Thursday at lunch. Tryout slash practice will begin next week, March 7th. Any potential graduates that have not completed the grad registration, please do so as we need to get the gowns ordered. The link was emailed to your school email address. If any students in grade 12 would like to write the USLID math contest, or if any grade 9s, 10s, or 11s would like to write a second math contest, please see Mr. Hack sometime this week. Our annual Hoops for Heart fundraiser will be happening again this year on March 10th. Our Hoops for Heart fundraiser is a three-on-three -three basketball tournament that is as fun or as competitive as you want it to be. We offer a male, female, and co-ed division. To enter, each player needs to fundraise a minimum of $25, which goes directly to the Heart and Stroke Foundation. Prizes will go to best dressed team, highest male and female fundraiser, and winning teams. Come down to the Phys Ed office to pick up your pledge forms. Due date for all forms will be March 8th. That's all from us Titans. Have a good day. Hey grade 11, do you want to be student council president? Me and Rochelle are finally retiring and you guys will be getting two new student council co-presidents. That's right, two of you can win. If you're in grade 11 and are a full-time student, you can apply to be president. This means any grade 11 can apply, even if you're not on student council. Applications will be available in the office February 27th and are due by March 6th at the end of the day. And before you complete the full application, it must be signed off by Mrs. Williams. So if you think you can handle our position, sign up and compete for president.